Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Creations team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress gut and bug tutorial for beginners. This is our part number 13. Inside this video session guys, we are going to make registering block properties. Inside our previous video, we had done all about loading our block assets file. If I back to editor, now this is all about the code what we have done so far. Inside this, by the help of a plugin, we are planning to register a custom block inside Gutenberg. So all about this is our constant definition means defining constant here. All we have done declaring a function and calling inside this init action hook. Inside this function, all what we are doing we are loading our editor CSS for the admin panel as well as our contents for the frontend section and this is all about registering a JavaScript file which defines our block inside Gutenberg. And finally, by using this function called register block type, we have successfully configured all the files what we have defined here. Now while registering our admin CSS, for this block, we have some dependencies called WP Edit Blocks. As well as for the JavaScript file, we have dependencies called WP Blocks as well as WP Element. This is not elements, this is element here. So all we had done, this is inside our previous lecture. Now inside this, we are going to make use of editor.js file. And inside this file, we are going to configure about register block type properties. So inside this file, first thing that I want to do is all about defining jQuery here. So let's a function. And inside this function, we have some dependencies as we know that. And this is all about defining WP blocks as well as defining WP element. And inside this function, we need to pass call blocks as well as element here. Now inside here, we are going to register block and inside this, by the help of this blocks object, we have a register block type function. If we back to slide, we have some documentation I have written. So at the first stage of very basic block development, we have dependencies over WP blocks as well as WP element. Now by using this WP blocks, we have a function available that is register block type. So if I copy this function name back to our editor and let's say that blocks dot register block type. Inside this function, we need to pass some parameters back to slide. So here, we have to provide a block name and the second we need to provide a configuration object. This is the name of the block what we are specifying here. So a block name can only contains means this is the name. So a block name only contains lowercase alphanumeric characters and dashes and must begin with a letter. This name is used on the common on the common delimiters. It means when we make this custom block and let's say that we have implemented inside a post. So when we save the post inside our database, so behind the scene for this block, this comment will be generated. It will be a prefix and this is all about the name what we have specified here. So this is all about storing this information inside our database. And one more thing that while writing this name, we don't have to use those names which is already reserved. What the reserved means here, those blocks provided by Go don't include a namespace when serialized. It means that the default provided core blocks, we don't have to use those names here because overall inside a WordPress website or application, we have to keep our block name as a unique. Now next, we have a configuration object. So if we back to editor, let's say that the first, we need to provide a name. 
so here we have the name we have used inside register block type and inside this second we have a configuration object and inside this we need some parameters back to slide so here we have called a configuration object a block requires few properties to be specified before it can be registered successfully so here we have called a title description category so if you go to the admin panel first go to post click on add new and if we open let's say that a pull codes here so inside right sidebar as we can see that this is all about the title also if we click on that these are the title what we have seen like paragraph pull codes custom HTML and so on and here we have a description and also we can see icon is here and also icon is appearing with the title so all these properties inside we will pass inside this configuration object so back to slide now here we have a title this is the display name title of the block so go here let's say that we have a title and inside this title I'm to use let's say WP first block and inside this if I write into capital B and inside here we have our description key so let's say that this is very basic block we have created inside WordPress now inside next we need to pass called category if we back to slide this is all about the category information what basically these categories are if we back to editor sorry admin panel now if we go here and check the list so we have common blocks formatting layout elements widgets embeds and so on so these are our category list so while making or registering our custom block we need to tell our application that where should go and stored let's say that these are the blocks defined inside this common block section inside this formatting section we have these blocks so we need to specify a category for our custom block as well so these are the names so let's say that we are going to register a block inside layout section so if I copy the name go here and let's say category and inside this category we need to pass this layout name now again back to slide now the next parameter we have icon this is all about the icon what we are seeing inside this like if you open common blocks these are the icons so commonly while using dash icons means while using our icon section inside register block type it is using wordpress dash icons so if i open called wordpress dash icons pressing enter now go inside this first list and here we can find that multiple icons we have so choose any icon and place let's say that if we want to select this icon now apart from this prefix like dash hyphen we need to select only this name called welcome learn more if we copy all the contents open up a new tab and pasting it here so apart from this prefix get rid of that we need to copy only the name of that back to editor and here we need to provide a key something called icon and inside this icon this is the dash icon we are using back to slide now apart from this icon we have like keywords this is the keywords which is a type of array and let's say that what is the use of this keyword section let's say that we are going to filter all the blocks what we have inside this like image here so while typing image as we can see that inside this common blocks we have like this keyword is available inside this image block as well as inside this gallery block 
Again, if I scroll down, inside this layouts element section, we have media and text. The keyword is used here. So the keyword is basically used to actually for the search criteria so that while typing inside this search box, automatically all the blocks were filtered from the respective sections. So all we need to go inside here, let's say that we have another property, something called keyword. So let's say keyword and inside this keywords, we have an array. Let's say that this is our custom block. So let's say custom hyphen block. Also, let's say that this is all about a text block. And also we want something hello world so these are the keywords so when we type these keywords inside search box this uh, means register block will be automatically get filtered again back to slide now the next keyword we have called example this is all about to actually make a preview screen if you go to our admin panel now get rid of this search criteria when I hover inside any of the block at this section, we can see that we have an image and we have a description and here is the image used as the cover image. Go to columns. Here we have the title, description as well as the cover image. Go to group. Now these are the things. So by the help of example, we can make a preview screen for the block and also if suppose if we don't want to pass any value inside this, the simple WordPress Gutenberg automatically picks a default layout or a default appearance for this example, means for a registered block type. But if suppose we don't pass this key like property inside this object, our preview screen will not be available. So if we see inside this document, examples provides a structured example data for the block. The data is used to construct a preview for the block to be shown in the inspector help panel when the user mouse move over the block means when we move our mouse over the block. If example is not defined, it means example property is not defined, the preview will not be shown. So even if no attributes are defined, setting an empty example like this will trigger the preview to show. It means that we have two options. Either we can pass this example property inside our object or either we don't want to pass this example property. So while specifying this example property, we are going to make a preview screen with no data. If we want to specify some data, we need to pass values inside this object. But let's say that in our case, if we don't pass, then preview screen will not be available. So we want to make a preview screen as well. So copy this example property and pasting it here. But in the first phase or let's say in the starting stage, we don't want any preview for this example here. Now the next, we have two functions inside this property. The first is for edit as well as the second we have save function. So for the time being, we all need to understand that edit and save functions of this property is very basic functions and they are very useful functions for this object because while saving our data or let's say that what is the layout of our block inside Gutenberg, this is only decided by our edit as well as save function. We will discuss all about the great details of edit function as well as save function in the next video. This is all about the basic properties. By the help of these properties, actually we can configure all the basic settings of this block what we are registering inside the Gutenberg like title, description, category, icon, keywords, and example. Apart from these basic properties, we have lots of properties inside this object. So step by step, 
we will go inside this course and see that how many properties we have and how can we use those. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.